have like one of those cute little like do 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 like jingle intros it would play right now but i don't hello everyone uh, my name is frankie and welcome to my brand new booktube channel um i thought i would talk a little bit about myself um in this video and also do some questions from the booktube newbie tag but not all of them because some of them i was like I have no idea how to answer this so i'm just gonna do enough so i can put booktube newbie tag in the title of this video i'm also going to talk about some of my favorite books um some genres i like to read that kind of thing just as an overall intro to my brand new channel before i do that though i did want to mention that all of my social media links are in the description um like i said i'm like brand new to this um so please give me a follow on my Twitter, um, you can follow me on my Tumblr, you can also find me on Goodreads, I have like no friends on Goodreads, so um, you should friend me and I will almost positively friend you back, and most importantly you should subscribe, I mean you haven't seen the video yet so you don't even know if I'm worth subscribing to, but um, you should anyway, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> um, okay, so first of all, um, a little bit about myself pull my laptop here my full name is francesca but i go by frankie or fran i'm 18 years old i uh, use she her pronouns i'm bisexual i'm a virgo sun aries moon and scorpio rising if you know what that means i'm gonna be going to college next year in new york city um, and i hope to major in english and psychology so that's really cool some stuff i like to do um, i like to read obviously um, I also like writing. I'm a writer. I write plays, short stories, novels, screenplays, all that really fun stuff. Um, I might eventually share some of the stuff that I've written on this channel. I think that might be cool if you guys care about that. I also love playing video games, especially Animal Crossing. Um, just got New Horizons. I love it, of course. I'm still like decorating my island. I love watching TV. Who doesn't? Um, my favorite TV shows are BoJack Horseman. Breaking Bad and um, Scom, which is that Norwegian TV show that people talk about sometimes. I love it. Um, and finally, I like watching YouTube, which is why I'm here. I watch a lot of booktube, obviously, but I also watch um, video essays, commentary videos, and gaming videos. So now let's get into some of the booktube newbie tag questions. Like I said, I'm not answering every question because some of them are just like way too hard to answer. <laughs> um, and I was sitting there like, I don't know what to say for that. So we'll just get right into the questions that I am answering. Um, the first one is why did you start this channel? Um, basically I've watched booktube for like a year now. As soon as I like discovered it I was like wow what like a revolutionary concept like making YouTube videos about books. Like I'm in but um, you know I never really found the time to get around to like actually starting a channel until now because obviously it's quarantine. Um, you know it's summer vacation it's just a good time to start a YouTube channel, so here I am. Um, what are some fun and unique things I can bring to booktube? That's the next question. Um, probably talking about like plays and classics, like those are two of my favorite genres and I feel like the booktubers I watch um, like barely ever talk about them. Um, but I read a lot of plays and I'm trying to read more classics so I think that that is something fun and unique that I could bring like I could like talk about those things and those genres and like the things that are like in those genres that kind of thing next question is what are you most excited for about this new channel probably making new friends I have like barely any friends that read books <laughs> like IRL um, so it would be nice to have some like internet friends that I could talk to about books and stuff I think that's like a plus and something that I'm really excited about I'm also just excited to be able to talk about books just in general even if like I have zero subscribers I just want to be like speaking into the void about like books that I like because I have no other outlet to do so <laughs> like I said I only have four Goodreads friends like nobody cares <laughs> what I'm talking about on Goodreads <laughs> and you know hopefully like having a channel will also encourage me to read a little bit more um, I just like when quarantine started I was like okay time to read like every single book on my shelf and I've done that and I'm worried that when school starts I'm gonna be like Ugh, and not reading as much but hopefully like running this channel will encourage me to do that a little bit more next why do I love reading it's like a nice escape um, from real life I guess I think that's kind of a cliche answer but it's true um, it's cool to like experience different stories different characters obviously 
Um, I also love writing, um, so like as a writer, reading is like really important to me. Seeing like other people's styles, seeing how they play with worlds and characters and stuff is really um, like good for me as a writer. It really helps me to further hone my craft. Next, what book or series got you into reading? I've been like literally reading since I was born. Like I came out of the womb reading basically. So it's like hard to identify like one single book. Um, I guess if I would have to, it would be <laughs> Percy Jackson, the Percy Jackson series. This is my copy of The Lightning Thief. It's like very well loved. As you can see, I would say that Percy Jackson like probably was the series that like launched my like young adult reading career I guess. After reading Percy Jackson it was like okay I'm like really into reading now and I'm gonna read even more things. So yeah I owe it all to Percy Jackson. So the last question is um what kind of books do you like to read? So I was just gonna talk a little bit about my favorite genres. Like I already mentioned, two of my favorite genres are classics and plays, which I don't see a lot of people on booktube talking about, so I'm really excited to talk about some of those. I also love um, contemporary, um, young adult. I like fantasy. I'm like getting into fantasy a little bit more. I'm kind of like a fantasy newbie, so don't ask me questions about it, but I am intrigued by the concept. <laughs> um, I also like like LGBT plus books. You know, I mentioned I'm bisexual, so obviously you know, it's like important to me to read stories about people like me. Then that's the end of the booktube newbie tag, but I thought I would also, just to add some like context, um, go through a little bit of my all-time favorite books. So this is my pile of all-time favorite books. It's a spoiler, you can see all of these binds. So if you don't wanna hear me talk about them, I guess like, here you go. One of them is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This is like the book that really like got me into classics and got me into Sylvia Plath, who's now, I would probably say is like my favorite author and slash poet. Um, I love her very much. I love this book. I'm like a classic for sad girls. <laughs> um, next is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabosky. This is probably like top two favorite books of all time. It's also my favorite movie of all time. Both the book and the movie changed my life and continue to change my life every single time I watch or read them again. Next is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. I read this last year, like almost literally a year ago, um, like around this time, and it really also changed my life, I guess. I think like every single book on this list is like a life-changing book, but you know, this book just everything I would ever want out of a YA. It's honestly so, revolutionary revolutionary piece of young adult literature um next up is angels in america by tony kushner which is not a book it's a play but it's like book length so i count it as a book um it's like seven and a half hours if you get to watch it. i've never watched it i've watched the hbo miniseries which i do recommend but um yeah it's a great play um i love it very much um next up is uh carry on by rainbow rowell I think a lot of people know about this book. Um, I love this book a lot with all my heart. I, I just like, what can I say? Another one where like I do cry every time I reread it. Um, I think it's wonderful, incredible, and I love it. And finally, my number one all-time favorite book is um, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Um, I think a lot of people have heard about this book too, especially nowadays when we're living in you know like apocalypse times it's pretty relevant um but i read this book for the first time like four years ago and um i loved it i adored it i think the way that emily st john mandel writes is incredible i think the atmosphere that she creates is like beautiful and just as a writer i just really appreciated this book and i really love it so much and i reread it um recently at the very beginning of quarantine and i was like wow Okay, um, guess I'm going to stop now. So yeah, Station Eleven, favorite book of all time, number one. Um, will always love it, adore it, and cherish it. I also thought I would go really briefly into some of my favorite series. Um, I already talked about Percy Jackson, um, definitely one of my favorites of all time. My plans to reread it soon, um, reread Percy Jackson, Heroes of Olympus, and Trials of Apollo. Um, in like anticipation of the last Trials of Apollo and last Percy Jackson universe book, 
and in anticipation of the um, Disney Plus series. So I might make a video out of that, stay tuned. Two of my other favorite series um, are probably The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. Again, you've heard of it, you love it, hopefully. Um, I love it, definitely. I just read it a few months ago for the first time and I'm really glad I did. I checked it out from the library, so I only have the first one, um, but I'm like slowly acquiring the other three. And then finally, um, I was talking about fantasy earlier. And I would say like the fantasy series that got me into fantasy is definitely A Song of Ice and Fire. Um, you know, a classic. Game of Thrones is based off of it. We all know it. This is the fifth book, hopefully not the last book. Um, waiting on Winds of Winter, always. But I really loved this series a lot and not just because I love Game of Thrones too. It's just really well written, really good. Um, I think the characters are super interesting and I was like super engaged um, reading through this like ginormous monster book <laughs> um yeah so those are three of my favorite series and that was like a super long list of my favorite books now we're kind of at the end of the video so i'm going to say all of the end of video things um mainly thank you so much for watching if you watched all the way through that list um i really appreciate it like i said earlier i have links in the description um for all my social media so feel free to follow me Twitter, Tumblr, Goodreads. I do not have an Instagram, by the way. Um, but you know, I've always been kind of anti-Instagram and never have one, but I might <laughs> consider starting a book Instagram because, you know, I think that's like a positive way to use Instagram. I don't know, irrelevant. Um, so follow me on the social medias that I do have and subscribe, that would be great. I would love that. I'm going to try to put out a new video once a week uh, and probably even more frequently for like the first few weeks of the channel just so you know I can garner some more attention and get some more views that kind of thing feel free to leave a like if you liked the video and a comment if you want to chat about any of the books or any of the things I mentioned that would be great I would love to talk with you if you're watching this um yeah so thank you so much um and I'll see you all next time bye